Let's look at another example of weighted scores on Excel. Let's suppose that we're trying to hire somebody. We are trying to figure out who the best candidate is for a position, and we've got a number of criteria that we're gonna, gonna use. And each of these criterias have been scored on a zero to 100 scale. So for this first candidate, we their work experience that's like looking at what uh, they have on their resume for past uh, past jobs and stuff they got a 72. their education is very good and they got a 92. the results of the first interview the interview interviewer scored them as 91. the second interviewer didn't like this person as much and only gave the person a 61 which isn't unusual because interviews are so subjective. Um, there, and then there were two tests that were given, a cognitive ability uh, test, and the person got 98 on that. That's uh, his highest score so far, or her score so far. And the integrity test, um, they got an 80 on the integrity test. Now, the way that we want to weight them is we want the first four to be worth 20% each, and the two other uh, scores, the two tests, the cognitive ability test and the integrity test, to be worth 10% each. And so that's 4 times 20, that's 80%, plus 2 times 10%, that's 100%. Now, how are we going to calculate a single unified score, a weighted average, a weighted score based on all of this so that we can compare this candidate with others? So let me uh, bring over some exercises, and we're going to do uh, uh, several uh, exercises on this one spreadsheet. We're going to do this top one first. Here we have the six pieces of information, um, work experience, education, first interview, second interview. Those are all weighted 20%. So I'm going to put 20s here. Now I could put 20% or I could put 0 0.20. It doesn't really matter what we're going to do. We just want them to some relative weight here. And then cognitive ability percent are going to be 10%. So I'll put 10s for each of these. Now, what I want to do is I want to calculate the total weight, first of all. And so I click on here and I've put the sum of B4 to B9, the sum of all of these weights. And that turns out to be 100. And that's going to be a number that we're going to be using in our uh, uh, weighted average formula. Now I could have put 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and that would have added up to 1, or 20% and 10% for these numbers, and that would add up to 100%. Um, but it, it doesn't matter uh, uh, too much. And now we have the information for the candidate 1 um, right next to each of the weights there. What we're going to do is we are going to use the sum product to get a score for candidate one. So I'm going to click here in the same column as candidate one, and I'm going to use our sum product command. So I'm going to go equals sum product, and this is uh, so I'm going to do this column, the B column times the C column. So we're going to go from B4 to B9, and that's going to be our first array. And then I'm going to go from C4 to C9, and that's our second array. So we're going to take this column and multiply it by this column, close parentheses, and that's our numerator. And then for the denominator, we need to put down this weight. Now, I want to introduce, I'm going to put dollar signs in front of B11, because the weight is not going to change. If we add other candidates here, that's still always going to be in uh, position B11. And the way that you um, fix the location of a cell in Excel is by a dollar sign. So I always want this numerator to be taken from column B. So I'll press the dollar sign B, and that means it'll always be in column B, even if I drag this formula someplace. And I always want it to be from row 11, so I'm going to put dollar 11 there. And that freezes the numerator, so it'll always be in B11, even if I drag this product, some uh, the, this formula, someplace else. 
So this is called anchoring, or it's giving an absolute reference for the cell. And it's a, a really useful uh, tool in Excel when you're dragging equations or using uh, autocomplete. It'll make some uh, cells not change their number. So now I press Enter. And we get a weighted average of 81. We've taken all six of these numbers and reduced them to one number using the weights that we are interested in.